Hey guys, let's do a brooder update. So we got, still, my sales have been slow on my ducklings, and that's okay. I'm gonna grow all these guys up and uh, put them outside, and I'll sell them for much more than I would sell them for in this size. So, not a problem. Uh, there's probably about 35 of them here, so. And then we got Hawkeye. The puppy, the big puppy, and uh, you know, in case you guys think that he hasn't gotten or he's gotten less fluffy, he hasn't. He's very, very fluffy still, uh, and he's a big teddy bear too. He will happily go eat a cat turd and then snuggle with you disgusting right and then we got our mixture of birds so there's some guinea hens in there two of them that are the older ones and then we got some little replacement guinea hens uh, we have two ducks for you know moral support and you'll notice that some of the chickens have purple on them or it looks like a blue so I sprayed those with blue coat and the reason I sprayed them with blue coat uh, is not because there's some new wave feminist or something like that, but simply because I need to identify them uh, from these little guys here. So these little guys are ones that I just hatched the other day, and I only hatched about 13 of them. And you can see that this one here looks like he's like brown. And of course he goes, there he is. Nah, that's a different one. So this one too, but this one and this one, they are Rhode Island Reds. There he is peeking out from behind the water. They're Rhode Island Reds. And then we have these kind of light colored ones, like they look like butterscotch. They are Cinnamon Queens and they are females. And then we got this white one right here. So that's also a cinnamon queen, but that is a male. Cinnamon queens are auto sexing when they hatch. So you can tell the females from the males. And then, you know, of course, all, my, all the other ones that hatch are gonna be Rhode Island Reds. And they have to grow out. You see them underneath there. They have to, there's that real dark one. They have to grow out before I can, before I can tell the sex of them because I don't know. I've looked at plenty of chicken butts and I can't tell the difference. Um, so I got cinnamon queens in here too. And the cinnamon queens will be grown out to go to Rooster Lady. She'll take, um, she'll take hens too. I gave her, I gave her some hens last time I went and, uh, they didn't last very long. She sold them real quick. So, uh, I hatched her out 13 birds this time. And that might be a recurring thing. We'll see. And in this brooder, we have the larger ducks. So these ducks are, I don't know, about a month old. 15, 18 days, something like that. Um, you can see that they all moved in unison. So if you know nothing about runner ducks... Uh, one of the very first descriptor words for what a runner duck is in terms of personality is nervous. Uh, they all flock together. They all run together. It, it's it's just their personality. It's, it's how they are. It's what they do. They're not lovable ducks. Um, but you can make them lovable ducks the more you handle them. Hey, get out of there. That's my, that's my trash can. Not him. That, that's my trash can I used to put old uh, bedding in. And the hawk likes going to sniff through it. But uh, anyway, these ducks will be grown out and they'll go outside too. Um, the season right now for ducklings and most birds is kind of slow. But it'll pick up again in the fall. And, uh, you know, everyone's got birds right now. So they don't, they don't need any birds and... They're hatching their own for cheap and all that stuff, but you know, if someone's gonna come looking for a specific type of bird or a pet or ducks or something like that. And uh, you know, 
this guy will be here waiting to help them satisfy their need. So we also have a new, uh, a new addition in here for a little bit. So we're gonna call her Sicken, right? Sick Chicken. Um, this is a Rhode Island White, and she's one of my birds that are outside. And the blue spot on her, and I've noticed she's picked a little bit, uh, a little bit, excuse my language, a little bit of uh, blue off there. Probably a scab she's picked off. Um, so this is what happens when they're overmated, and she must be one of the sexy chickens because uh, right, let's see if she'll let me get close to her. Right in this spot right here, where this, this scabby part is, was actually, uh, maybe I can touch her. So, no, she's not gonna let me touch her. So because the rooster had mated her so much and I didn't catch it soon enough, she actually had a flap of skin in there where the rooster was digging his, his toes in. Um, dude. It's over here vomiting. Uh, he was actually digging his his toes in underneath in the skin there, and it was a it was an open wound. Um, it wasn't actively like infected or anything like that, um, but it needed you know an open infection or an open wound like that will quickly become infected. So, sick in here got some some blue coat on her glorious on her uh, on her open wound and I checked it this morning and it's sticking together which means it's healing um, I really sprayed it good I washed it out and sprayed it good with this blue coat which is, a, is an antiseptic and germicidal Let me get it here ah gross it has something sticky on it so you can see germicidal fungicidal antiseptic spray it on horses dogs but you can use it on uh, chickens too and this is the stuff that I use to mark my birds because it's blue, very blue. And the reason it's blue is uh, chickens, they go for red. They really like red. So when they see red, they'll peck red. And those beaks of theirs are real sharp. So if a chicken has a wound, uh, what will happen is other chickens will see that red and they will peck that wound, making it making it much, much worse. So you gotta spray them with blue coat. And it works. Um, it definitely works. So you might be asking, okay, well their combs are red. Why don't they pick at each other on their combs? They do. And you can see on some, uh, some of the other chickens, not this one, she's been, uh, I guess pretty fast, but some of the other chickens will have bite marks on their combs. Uh, when they fight or get irritated at each other, they bite the comb and the waddle first. Uh, because it's, well, it's red and it's open and exposed skin and it can cause damage, it's, it's attracting. Um, so they go for the combs and wattles first. Uh, you'll often find on the bigger roosters that there's little triangular nips out of the, the wattle or the comb is all bleeding and messed up and they're missing tips. Uh, it's because they, they rip them off each other. It's disgusting. But uh, yeah, she's coming along nicely and healing well, thankfully. And she's only been in here a day brought her in yesterday so she's doing okay so let's go check the incubator because I got some ducklings who hatched and they're probably in the bottom nice carpet right Yeah, go. 
the bag over. guys if they don't flip over and they come out and lay on their back and can't get their bearing right they'll get wry neck and it's where their neck curls and they can't straighten it out so it, it does it looks a little bit like he's messed up but they usually they usually work through it Hatching eggs out of here. Some shells. It's time for you guys to get out. You're late. up against the other ducks. Now we have is these last two. We gotta get the ducklings out of here because I got these sprayers. They keep these eggs moist so they don't shrink wrap. And the sprayers will get them they'll get them wet and they won't dry and they won't do what they're supposed to do and gotta get the ducklings out of there. But these guys still need to be moist. So we'll go ahead and close this back up. We'll turn off the humidity alarm. And it looks like we're still okay on temps. So 96 and a half, 45. So 45 is still okay for me having just opened the door. But, um, yeah, this is what the auto sprayer does. We have a water line here, goes through a solenoid, and goes into to those sprayers. And this guy is controlled by this here, which turns on a relay uh, from a computer that tells it to turn on and off at a specific time. So it sprays them, right? All right, well, uh, these are my brooders. That's one of my auto waters. Ex excuse me, I just, I literally just cleaned this out. So, uh, anyway, there's the update for the day. See you guys.